This is a geek leader. Hey guys, welcome to episode 49 of A Geek Leader. And today we're talking about a book called Herding Tigers. Um, I'm going to pick it up real quick and just check it out. It's um, Be the Leader That Creative People Need by Todd Henry. And we've had Todd Henry on the show before, and he'll actually be on the show um, on Friday and talking about this book. Um, he's also the author of Actional Creative, Die Empty, Louder Than Words, and the latest one, Herding Tigers, which this is the first leadership book in his series of books. And this is probably one of the definitely one of the uh, better leadership books that I've read this year. It's one of my favorites because I've talked about this before that some leadership books are very theoretical in nature and other ones are very practical in nature. And this book kind of combines the best of both worlds. It's very uh, story oriented where it has like stories from different leaders and from Todd's past and some uh, examples that Todd has throughout the book. But then it ends with a section that talks about actions, um, uh, conversations and rituals that you can take and do on a regular basis and at the very end of the book there's actually a section of all the rituals um, that you should be doing weekly monthly or quarterly as a good leader or good manager and I really like a lot of the different points in this book there's sections where he talks about um, how to fight fair there's sections where you talk about making the shift from maker to manager which is one of the things that I talk about as being one of my hardest parts of being a leader you know that I was a uh, what I consider to be a good, pretty good developer, and then they moved me in to be in charge of other developers, and I kind of struggle with that. And this book really, you know, ties in how to make that shift, how to go from being a maker to a manager, and how to do it successfully. So it's one of my favorite parts of this book. So I do want everybody to go over and check out um, Herding Tigers. There's a couple of different sections that I want to hit on that I really liked. I'm not going to give you a summary of this book. It's more a, a, more or less a review, and we'll talk more about this when I talk to Todd Henry, and you can kind of listen to that interview and get more information about it. But there's um, a whole chapter just on how to stop doing the work. And I know I've talked a lot about that was really hard for me to let go and let other people do the work. But there's a lot of reasons why we need to allow others to do the work. One is if we are always having to be in there and our hands always have to get dirty and always have to touch the code or always have to you know, do, do the work that, of the people that we're managing, we'll never be able to scale outside of ourselves. The team will never be better than we are. We, we will never you know, have enough bandwidth to do all the things that all the people do. And that's what I always thought was the main reason. But Todd actually mentions that there's another reason. You know, and that other reason is that if you have talented people on your team and you're always the bottleneck, you're always having to do the work, they're going to leave. They're going to get bored. They're going to get frustrated and they're not going to be able to be challenged and be able to grow. So he talks about that. The real thing that a leader needs to do is to um, have stability, but also challenge, challenge people to, to do their best work. And if you don't challenge people to do their best work, then they're going to leave. They're going to be out of here. Um, so that's a really important part. Another part in this book that I really liked is the shift in mindset that you have to have as a leader. You have to change your way of thinking from my stuff to our stuff. Um, and one of the quotes in here says, effective leaders understand that once they step into their new role, they own everything that happens on the team, even if it was out of their direct control. And there's another book by um, Jocko Willink, um, Extreme Ownership, where he talks about how a leader has to have ownership of everything that happens within their team. And they have to take that extreme ownership and Todd's kind of referencing some of that stuff here that, you know, a leader has to own everything that, that comes out of their team, whether it's good, whether it's bad, whether they had any um, thing to do directly with that product. Because indirectly, they're the leader of that team, so they do have something to do with that outcome. So they have to own that. And that's just a mindset, mindset shift that has to happen when you're, when you're a leader. Um, and I think some people forget that. Um, and there's another section in this book that really stood out to me, and that was the section on um, on trust, how to build and generate trust within your team, and things that you should do in order to earn the right to be a good leader. And there's a there's a one section, there's a whole section in the book called Trust is Not Static. And he talks about how you can do all these things right to build trust of your team, but the first time you throw someone on your team under the bus, or first time you blame someone on your team, instead of taking ownership as a leader, you basically threw all that trust in the trash, and you almost have to start over if it's even repairable at that point. 
So I think that's really important to to think about when you're thinking about trust from a leader is that, yes, it's, it takes time to build, but it can all go away in a moment's time. So you have to be very, very careful with the trust that you have for your team and that your team has in you. Um, and then there was another section about how to fight fair. And I've never heard any leader really talk about um, in their book about the rules for, for fighting well and, and how to fight fair as a team. And um, there's a quote that says, great leaders embrace healthy conflict and use it to sharpen the team, whereas poor leaders try to prematurely resolve it. And now, when I was first becoming a manager, I used to always step in whenever there was conflict and try to just diffuse it, try to end the conflict as fast as possible because conflict is not comfortable. It's uncomfortable. And I didn't like the uncomfort that came with conflict. So I'd always try to stop it. And what I've learned over time and what Todd mentions here is that, you know, healthy conflict is good. You know, you have to have healthy conflict. And if you have talented people on the team, you will have healthy conflict or you will have conflict. It might not be healthy, but you'll have conflict. Uh, That's just the nature of having talented people on the team. And this book really goes into some of the rules that you need to put in place when you're having conflict. And one of the things that I'm doing from this book is I'm actually taking these rules and putting them into a um, a, a slide deck that I'm going to use to teach my team how to fight well. How are some some rules whenever we're, we're fighting? Now, some of these are already I've already talked about with my team. We've already do, but there's more in here that I need to add in there. Like how do you determine whether it's getting personal or not, and how to stop that before it gets personal? How to determine that you're fighting about the right thing? Because um, that's one of the things that I've had trouble with is not not realizing that we're arguing about the different different things, and we're both right. Um, we're right about different things and how to get on the same page before the conflict starts. But it's, it's a really good book. It has a lots of good, good nuggets of information, and it has good stories uh, around those nuggets. So I want everybody to go to geekleader.com um, slash herding tigers, and there you will see a, um, my, the, this book review for this podcast episode as well as links to go check out the book. And on Friday, we'll have Todd Henry on as a special guest to talk about his book, Herding Tigers, and to just talk about general leadership and things that I got out of the book and things that um, – that he can help us with as we're learning to be better leaders. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if so, head over to iTunes and leave us a review. I greatly appreciate all the reviews and uh, comments that we get, and hit me up on Twitter at John Rauta. Thanks so much.